Hey DHS, it's Alyssa. It's hey, Michaela. Hey, it's Lucas. And it's Samuel. And today we're going to ask students of DHS about the holiday decoration contest and how they feel about the sophomores winning. And pow! Make sure you take time to come by and stroll through the enchanted forest. Oh, yeah, welcome to the Enchanted Forest. How do you feel about the sophomores winning the hallway decorating contest? Feels really good because we tried really hard and I'm glad that not the seniors didn't win for once because they win every single year and it's not fair. Yeah. How does it feel to win the hallway decoration? Great, all of my friends worked really hard on it. So how do you feel about your class winning the hallway decoration? I think it's pretty good. We worked all four hours and then we helped clean up. We just worked really hard on it. So I think we deserved it. How does it feel winning the hallway decorating contest? Um, I think the sophomores really spent a lot of work and a lot of effort on it. So I do believe we deserve it. Welcome to Mexico. I'm here with Lexi. And do you think that the sophomore should have won the hall decorating competition? Yes, I do. Lame. I'm here with Kennedy Mark. And which class do you think should have won the hall decorating competition? I'm glad the sophomores won because I like the waterfall. I don't like green or any other school. Thank you. I'm here with Scarlett Stotts. And which class do you think should have won the hall decorating competition? Um, I think the sophomores. Wait. Cool. <laughs> Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the movies. movies. I'm here with Seth DeLeon. And which grade do you think should have won the hall decorating competition? I think our grade should have won. Uh, seniors definitely not. They win every year. You know, take it back from the seniors this year. Thank you. Uh, I'm here with Alana Monreal. And what hallway do you like the best? Um, I like the freshman hallway. I know it's kind of weird, but I like the freshman hallway because I don't know. I just like how colorful it is. Do you like that guy? Oh yeah, and I like the little mariachi that's on the way over there. He's cute. Welcome to the circus. How do you feel about the sophomores winning instead of the seniors? Uh, I'm kind of upset. The seniors usually win everything, but I guess they gave it to the best one this time. So what do you think about the sophomores winning instead of the seniors? We should have won. The seniors always have the best ones. And it's our last year, and we should always have the seniors won. How do you feel about the sophomores winning instead of the seniors? I think it was very rigged because the seniors always win, but it happened to be our year that someone else would win. How do you feel about the sophomores winning the hallway decorating? No, I think the freshmen would have won, but I'm the sponsor, so that's why. <laughs> okay. Looks good though. Who do you think had the best hallway decorations? Of all the hallway decorations I've seen, I'd say it'd have to be the sophomores. They have the best one. Mm -hmm. I'm here with Miss Stubing. And which class do you think should have won the hall decorating competition? Oh, absolutely the sophomores. Good job, guys. That's it for today, DHS. It's obvious that sophomores won for good reason. I don't know how I got here. One one moment I was in the air, next time, <laughs> next time, next time here. The last thing I remember is explosion. Where's Rooster? <laughs> I feel like that was. Why did you choose this character for your costume? I chose Maverick because obviously he's the. He's the best out of all of them. He says, he said I'm the best in the league in the whole aviation. He said he's, he's just the best. Uh, for me, uh, it's not particularly the character Goose. It was more because of my grandpa used to be in the Air Force and I just had this lying around. That's cool. Okay, uh, was this planned? No, this was no, not, not planned. We literally just found out. I just found out that there was another pilot here in the school and I had no clue about it until like literally 10, 15 minutes ago. Okay. Yeah, what you said. Which top, which character do you think is better? Mavic, I'm the best. Why? I'm the best. 
He says he says himself. He says, he says it himself in the movie. He says I, I'm the best. I die. <laughs> Who are you dressed as for character day? I'm dressed as Tanjiro from Demon Slayer. Uh, Stitch. Stitch. Um, Diablo from Suicide Squad. Belle from Beauty and Beast. Easy from Shade and Shaden the Compton. What's your favorite part about homecoming? Uh, probably seeing everybody dressed up. And why do you say that? Because it shows our school spirit and the fact that everybody's participating and not just certain people, such as sports people. Okay. So what's your favorite part about homecoming? Uh, I like how a lot of people show up to the games for homecoming, and it's exciting because they choose the king and queen. Yeah, the homecoming games are pretty cool. The, like throughout the week at school, the, the, the week's fun. We have a lot of themes for every day, and it's just a fun week for us. And then on Friday, we get to go play football. Yeah. What's your favorite part about homecoming? Well, I really like the moms and making them. I like being able to dress out and like go all out and have an excuse just for it. So. What's your favorite part of our, our homecoming? Um, big football game, always. It's great. Alright, what's your favorite part about homecoming? My favorite part about homecoming is probably the football game because we're gonna go get a dub yeah. against Wire Miller. So, what's your favorite part about homecoming? My favorite part about homecoming is just like overall the entire experience. I love the game. I love the dress up days. I love being able to like have fun with my friends and everything in between that. So basically everything. <laughs> all right, what's your favorite part about homecoming? Um, we get to dress up all week. So what's your favorite part about homecoming? My favorite part of homecoming is probably just the dress up days, being able to show the team spirit. Oh shoot, where's my kid? There you are. I'm Christina. And I'm Avery. And we're bringing you the Divine News. To start us off, we have Jeremiah to talk about the weather reports. <laughs> Thank you, Christina and Avery. Now on to the weather. Last night at the bonfire, it was very chilly, but the bonfire kept everyone warm all night. And as for the homecoming game's weather, I think it'll be very chilly, but the heat of the game will keep everyone's spirits warm. Thanks, Jeremiah. Now we have homecoming predictions. For the girl candidates, we have Avery Cruz, Jordan Ertzleben, Ashley Mapke, and Baylor Pesum. For the guys, we have Aiden Zapata, Blaine Davis, Juan Hernandez, and Harper Parson. And we've asked around the high school who the perfect candidates would be. Now here are the results. I'm Avery Cruz, and I'm here with... Joseph. And who do you think is going to win homecoming king and queen for this season? As for kings, I think... Um... Aiden Spath is gonna get it, and for Queens, I think uh, uh, Jordan Nurse. Hi, I'm Andrea, and I'm here with Ian. Who do you think for the girls is gonna win for every season? I'd say there, was, there were a few, but I'd have to say that Avery, because she's a, probably a nice person, would probably win most likely. And for the boys, who do you think won? I honestly don't care as long as somebody wins. Hi, my name is Jeremiah, and I'm here with Variety. Who do you think is gonna win for home court? Um, Ashley and my name is Christina and I'm here with Alana. Who do you think is going to win the homecoming court? Honestly, I don't know, but I voted for um, Harper and Jordan. I'm with Ethan. And today we're asking him who he believes is going to win homecoming king and queen. Uh, for queen, I think it's going to be Avery Cruz. And for king, I think it's going to be Blake Davis. Perfect. Hi, I'm Andrea and I'm here with Isaac. Who do you think will win homecoming representative? Avery and Aiden. I'm here with Thomas. Who do you think was going to run for homecoming court? Uh, Avery and Avery. I'm here with Lacey. Who do you think will be homecoming court? Definitely Avery and Aiden. I'm here with Charlie. Who do you think is going to win for homecoming court? I think Aiden and Bailey are going to win. I'm here with David. Who do you think is going to win homecoming? I think uh, Ashley and Juan have a really good chance of winning. I'm here with Noah. Who do you think is going to win for homecoming court? I hope Aiden and Bailey win because they gave me a brownie. I'm here with Hunter. Who do you think is going to win homecoming? Um, I'm hoping Blaine wins for the guys. Girls, I'm not really too sure. I don't know them that well. So, I mean, whoever wins, I'll be happy with it. So Sounds good. I'm here with Jamison. Who do you think is going to win homecoming king and queen? Uh, for king, I think it's going to be Aiden. And queen, I think it's going to be Bailey. I'm here with Joe. Who do you think is going to win homecoming king and queen? I think for the king, it will be Aiden. And for the queen, it will be Aiden. I'm Avery Cruz and I'm here with Matt. Um, who do you think is going to win Homecoming King and Queen? I think Avery and Aiden are going to win Homecoming King and Queen. <laughs>
the 2022 homecoming king and queen are Aiden Zapata and Avery Cruz. Congratulations, Aiden and Avery, and to the entire club. The Divine Student Council provided the King and Queen's crown, sashes, and flowers. Thanks to the Student Council and their advisor and co-advisor, Ms. Benson Leal and Mr. Jose Guardiola for arranging tonight's coronation. Special thanks to Ms. Perrette for organizing and managing the election process and to the Divine High School faculty and staff and their assistance in the homecoming nomination and election processes. Thank <laughs> everyone involved in tonight. By the way, this is the largest crowd we've had all year long. We need to do it every home game. Twist it, pull it, hit it, turn it, spin it, slide it, now ride it. Pop it, twist it, pull it, hit it, turn it, spin it, slide it, now ride it. Um, my favorite part is the sign. Because it reminds me of stuff with Kaylee Crane. So Kaylee, what's your favorite part about your mom? Uh, this right here. And why? Because I like cheetah and it's like really cute. Thank you. Hi, my name is Coach Thompson. I'm here with Lizbeth. Um, what is your favorite part about your mom? The pictures. Why? Because of the memories that I had that day. Um, can you explain some of the memories you had that day? Well, it was from the bomb site. Oh, very nice. It looks beautiful. Thank you. With Barbara, what's your favorite part about your mom? I think that it's super cool because my grandma made it, so she put lights on it, and like it's white and gold, and I've never had like a white gold mom, and I feel like my favorite part is just like overall that it. Like all the details she puts in it. Thank you. Ethan Gelinas. So Ethan, what is your favorite part about your garden? Um, well my mom made it for me. So my favorite part is probably um, that my mom made it for me. Alright, thank you. I'm here with Skylar Blanton and Charlie Rangel. What is y'all's favorite part about your mom? Um, I like this right here because I think it's really pretty. Um, I like all the cheetah print on it. <laughs> I'm here with Ainsley Bovinghausen. So Ainsley, what is your favorite part about your mom? This little angel flower right here, it represents my past family members. Thank you. Part and why? Uh, I think the favorite, my favorite part is the gold helmet because I play football and it's my favorite sport. Ready? Three, two, one. So I'm here with Jackie Shrek. Jackie, tell me about your mom. So my mom, this one, my mom like customized it, so it has me and Marcus's name, um, it has the cheer captain, um, a senior, because I'm a senior, and my little cheerleader, and then my little pigs, because I do pigs, and then Marcus's mom homemade me this one, it's like a little sash, so yeah. Thank you. How do I feel about playing Hondo again? We're going to beat on my last one. Exactly. How do you think the outcome of this game will be? I feel like it's going to be a blowout because coming off that loss last week, and it's going to be our first district game this week, so. <laughs> My name is Brandon Martinez, and I'm here with Corey Dirk, uh, offensive tackle, number 72. And how do you think the outcome of the game will be? Um, it should be an easy dub, probably like 40 to 0, but who knows? We just need to go out and try our hardest. Do you think this outcome of Honda will be better than the last game? Yeah, I hope we beat them more than just one touchdown. I think we will execute a lot better after we watch film, and I think it'll be a way better outcome. How does it feel to have your district opener as a homecoming? Uh, it feels good, you know, going into the district, hoping to stay undefeated. Uh, coming off a tough loss last week, we're looking to gain confidence and move forward into the playoffs. How does it feel for our homecoming game to be also our first district game? I think it's going to be good. It's going to get us prepared for district, and I think it's going to be pretty hype. Yeah. <laughs> How do you think you're going to play against Wamale after coming out of a loss? Um, I think we'll do just fine. We've had a lot of preparation this week, and tensity has been up, and we just don't like that feeling we had last week. So we're ready to get um, this win. We're going to come out with a lot of energy, and then we're going to get the win tomorrow. And I hope to see you all out there. Friday night.
I'm Joseph. I'm Charles. I'm Jacob. And today we're going to be asking people their prediction for the NBA and NFL this year. Let's get to it. Uh, my name's Joseph, and I'm with Ms. Valdez. So, Ms. Valdez, I've got a list of NFL predictions, and okay. I want to know what's your opinion on it. Let's see. Okay. First off, Bengals versus Saints. Oh, gosh. Um, no. Mm -hmm. <sighs> you know I like both of them, but I'm going to go with Joe Burrow. <laughs> Mostly, mostly because the state's quarterback is broken and, and even number two is out, so we're down there to take some help. And granted, he's really good, but he's not Joe Burr. Mm -hmm. And be thankful that it's not Drew Brees on the other side. Yeah, I bet Drew Brees also had a really bad last year, so. Yeah. Eh, eh. Burrow, Burrow. Here's a good one. Okay. Cowboys versus Eagles. Because it looks like the Eagles might make a comeback since 2018. I mean, that's a big rivalry. I'm actually, I'm gonna go with Dallas because really? Dallas, yeah, yeah, Dallas has been really impressive this year. So. Well, if uh, if Nick Foles comes back in, it's gonna be one heck of a Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah, that could be it. But then again, he had a bad showing with the Bears. So, um, we'll see what happens. Um, I'm Joseph. I'm Jacob. And today we're gonna be asking each other who we have going to the NBA Finals this year. Jacob, who do you got going this year? For the West, I have the LA Clippers just because Kawhi returning and with the addition of John Wall and the other guy they have on the team, they actually have a good shot going to the finals. And for the East, a little bit of a shock, I'm gonna go with the Atlanta Hawks just because with the addition to DeJounte Murray, I think it just adds a dangerous threat to the team. I think that's why I have them going to the finals. That's a good pick. For me, I got the Memphis Grizzlies for the West and I'm gonna have to go. I'm gonna have to go on a long shot. I'm gonna have to go with the Chicago Bulls for the East with Alonzo, Alex Caruso, Patrick Williams, Nikola Vucevic, and then obviously you got Demar and, <laughs> and then Zach, you got Demar Derozan, Zach Levine. Also. That's a that's a good that's a good five right there. And that's good. Uh, my name's Joseph, and I'm here with Mr. Berg. Yes, indeed. So, Mr. Berg, I've got a list of. Uh, upcoming NFL games, and I want to know your predictions on who's gonna win. All right. Mm -hmm. So, first off, uh, last year's Super Bowl champs, um, the Rams against uh, Panthers. I think uh, that game it'll be the Rams. Rams. Okay. Here's a good one: Cowboys versus Eagles. Got to go with the Cowboys. Bills versus Chiefs. I'm leaning towards the Chiefs on that one. Now here's one you might like. Patriots versus Browns. Gotta go with the Patriots all the time, all day long. Hi, I'm Jacob and I'm here with Ethan. All right, so Ethan, what two teams do you have going to the finals next year for basketball? The Lakers and the Bulls. I'm here with Mr. Sanderson and the question I have today is, who do you have going to the NBA finals this year? Um, Warriors and Celtics probably. Why do you think that? Well, the Warriors have been the best, Celtics have been the best in the East. The only, and the only problem with the Celtics, of course, is the um, controversy with their coach and whether or not the, the replacement coach, but he's the assistant, right? He's the assistant. Yeah. He's taking over if you can keep the same program that was going on with him. They got basically the same players. Yeah. And for Golden State, of course, the big question is about Draymond Green, but I think, I think they can recover. I mean, they've, they've been there, done that without Draymond Green. What's going to make this year different? He's asking Can you say he's that serious, bro? No, you can go through. Yeah, still don't, don't mind that. Is this recording? Yeah, it's recording. Now you guys have bloopers of me trying to dance. We're going to put that in the outro.